I expect to please nobody. I expect um, I expect to be called anywhere from a racist to a I don't know a traitor to a you know the whole gamut. Uh, I expect to be called. So um, it, it's going to be a tricky one. It's going to be interesting, and uh, but it, I think an important topic that we should set straight, which is the issue of systemic racism, which is, uh, you know, a lot of what the, the demonstrators are talking about, the systemic racism in America, and therefore it's not just one occurrence, it's not just this, it's not just that, it's a system, we have to change the system. And of course for them, we'll talk about this, for them the system is capitalism, and that's what needs to be changed, and that's what needs to be destroyed, so... Um, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that. Before we get to that, uh, I want to talk about another issue that is related to uh, what is going on right now with the, with the demonstrations and riots, and uh, particularly with, the, with kind of the, um, uh, the rioting part of it, the destruction of property, the looting, the breaking of windows, and so on. Uh, those, are, um, those are important. You know, that, that, that's what's going on out there. And, and when you point this out, as many people are doing on Twitter and elsewhere, you know, there's riots, there's violence, this is violence, there's breaking of windows, there's looting of stores, there's theft of content. And, it, you know, everybody says, oh, I, I see this on, 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 um, on uh, Twitter, but, but this is also in the public space out there. You hear people say, no, 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 wait a minute. You know, looting, you know, that's not that important. What's really important is murder, and, and this guy was murdered. So how are you comparing? First of all, nobody compared. Murder is murder. We all know murder is murder. And looting is looting. Looting is still violence. Looting is still a crime. Looting is still bad. Looting is still wrong. But by arguing against the looting, many people out there saying, many people on the left out there saying, but the, 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 the immediately jumping to, you're equivocating between murder and looting. It's the same thing. You're saying it's the same thing. So let's be clear. Nobody, nobody in their right mind thinks that murder and looting are the same thing. There is a, there's a whole spectrum of different forms of violence. From the most horrific murder to horrific but slightly less horrific, rape and, 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 uh, and you know, beating somebody up and all the, and, 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 and a little less than that is, is burglary and looting and breaking windows and destruction of property. All of those are forms of violence. And indeed, our legal system recognizes that some are worse than others because the penalty for some is worse than others. And we all know this. But they do not want the looting to be criticized. They view the looting as justifiable violence in the name of their upset, in the name of systemic racism, which we'll get to, in the name of combating systemic racism. But violating somebody's rights does not solve problems ever. You don't solve problems of rights violating by violating rights. You don't solve a murder case in Minneapolis. You don't penalize, uh, establish justice, penalize the guilty by breaking somebody innocent's windows, stealing from the store. So there is no relation, but it goes even further than that. Some are saying looting is not even violence. Now, so this is a quote. Uh, and I'm taking this from an article by uh, Jonah Goldberg. Uh, he says, speech is not violence and violence is not speech. And he gets that from Nicole Hannah-Jones, who is the lead architect of the absurd evil, evil in its, you know, just, just hatred of America, uh, 1619 Project. Um, and she says it's not just wrong, but immoral to call violent actions looting violent. And here's the quote from Nicole Hannah-Jones. Violence is when an agent of the state kneels on a man's neck until all the life is leached out of his body. Destroying property, which can be replaced, is not violence. To use the same language to describe those two things is not moral. Oh my God. 
both a violence, Nicole Hannah Jones, there are different degrees of violence, but both are violence. But to say that destroying the property of somebody who's worked hard in order to build, create that property, who's worked hard to create a business, who ekes out of living from that business, cares for his family and for himself from that business, maybe employs a few people and pays wages from that business. That, to destroy that which he has built, to destroy that which he has made, to destroy that is not violence. It is not the use of force for the destruction of somebody's life. It is destruction of life. Not destruction of a full life like murder is, but it's a destruction of a piece of a life. Oh, but some of these people say, but they've got insurance, it doesn't matter. Well, insurance takes time to pay, and in the meantime, you have to deal with it. It takes hours of your life to deal with it. For what? Because somebody couldn't control their emotions? Because somebody wanted to express their hate by destroying my business? There is no justice, no justification, no moral justification. This is evil. Wrong, immoral, and violence. And then, of course, the insurance company is a business too. And the insurance company, yes, they're going to pay off the claim. But, you know, if there's a lot of these riots, then rates go up and money has to come out of other people's pockets. And the cost of doing business goes up. And the amount of money the business owner takes home is less. His ability to take care of himself and others. Why? Because some emotionalist crook, thief couldn't control his anger and broke a window and stole some goods. And, and that's assuming it's not organized and it's assuming it's not actually people stealing for the sake of stealing. But stealing is, breaking stuff is violence. Destroying property is violence and it's immoral to say any anything but it's a massive evasion of reality a massive evasion of reality what we need today what i call the new intellectual would be any man or woman who is willing to think meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time, so I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourunbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...